we studied in uh, UWTSD, um, Swansea College of Art. And um, the work we do now, we do a lot of marketing packages and a lot of um, visuals now for housing developers, commercial developers um, around the region. Um, but also we do a global um, sort of customer um, where we do in Barbados and California and um, where else? All around the world really. All around the world. America, Canada, mainly like in a nutshell basically we just um, help our clients um, bring their kind of um, visions to life mm. either through uh, animations or renders or through uh, virtual reality experiences. Mm. Um, but I, um, I actually came across uh, a, a video on YouTube talking about making money as a 3D artist uh, and it discussed like all the different kind of routes you should take into consideration by this guy called Mike Herms um, and uh, it discussed basically all the different sectors for example like you know the medical sector, um, healthcare, uh, architectural visualization and it's just you know advertising and then I realized that um, you know I, I did study game design but I built up a skill as a 3D artist and so then I quickly realized that um, I was able to make money um, in all sorts of, sorts of different sectors that weren't game design. And uh, I had a little search on Google and I found um, a company right here in Swansea. So I just started pestering them with emails and phoning them up and going up to visit them. And uh, I got an internship and then that turned into a full-time job and now I'm a 3D artist that I create. From a young age I've always wanted to do animation. I wanted to go and work for Pixar and DreamWorks and I had the dreams. <laughs> um, so I did an OCN course when I was doing my A-levels a at um, a different college. And um, then I came on to do the HND here, the BA, and then I went to MA. Um, and then through my MA, I had a, a 140 hours work experience with iCreate, which allowed me then to get involved with iCreate, be part of the team. And then they hired me off the back of that. So now I'm a 3D senior artist at iCreate. Somebody comes knocking on the door who's literally just come out of uni and they've had access to the latest kind of ways of thinking, the latest software and all that kind of stuff versus somebody who's just taken out, you know, two years to chill and do nothing, they'll probably have a better chance and, um, you know, I've met a lot of people who've like worked really hard in their degree and it's just kind of like fizzled out and they've worked in other sectors that are completely unrelated. So I'd say just don't let that happen, um, get on top of it, especially when you're in your second year, start looking around, see what kind of companies are local, like Rich said, get in touch and just send out emails and let them know that you're that you exist really and mm -hmm. just get a kind of dialogue going with the with the CEOs and with the people in charge of uh, hiring a lot of people asked us like um you know what do you want to see in the portfolio and stuff mm -hmm. like that and it's, it's different obviously if you're going to go into like the game or animation sector um obviously the portfolio is the thing that's going to do the talking before they really get to meet you. Whereas with us it's a little bit different because we do look for obviously, you know, the, the fundamentals of art, obviously, because we still, even though we're not doing art per se, we still have to get the comp composition right and the, the lighting right and, you know, all cinematography needs to be right and stuff like that. But mainly um, it's, uh, it's attitude and it's kind of willingness to, uh, a willingness to uh, kind of like learn and adapt and Working, is, is working in team as working well. Working team, yeah. yeah. Like, so somebody could come in and have an amazing portfolio, right? Mm -hmm. And then if they can't work as part of the team and if they're not like problem solvers and, and thinking on a ball and they're not showing an interest in the company, um, then they probably won't get anywhere, will they? Yeah, exactly. 